mean, uh, when I used to, uh, many years ago, when I worked in the vitamin shop, I had multitudes of senior citizen customers that came in looking for me, and, and uh, it was really great to see that many seniors had an, oh, have an open mind about the holistic approach. Well, you have to, especially when a doctor gives you a terminal diagnosis and there's nothing more we can do. What do you have left? Well, the doc. What have you got? Yeah. What have you got to lose? I think the your life, and if you have everything to gain, if you do the proper research, and take the proper steps, and the, uh, you know, the alternatives. I think these seniors found out that the drugs were not making them feel better in the long run. Well, I know, so I'm sure we all, all have heard about or know people that have been on chemo and radiation. It's horrible. Actually, gave up. Said, "I'd rather die. I just can't take this." I mean, I would. I, I've known a number of people like that. So I, I just can't do this anymore. I mean, I. You don't, I get those, you don't get those same side effects of alternative uh, drugs, herbs, minerals, what have you. So why not try it? Why the ignorance? What have you got to lose? You have right. everything to gain by trying. I, I would shoot the works, Billy. I would shoot the I, works. I, so would I. I would I would do the the Asian mushroom extract, standardized extract, the turmeric, the gra the the graviola. I would I would shoot the works, selenium, uh, uh, vitamin C, mega dose. I would shoot the works, you know. Well, the ancients seem to know certain things. To this day, we can't duplicate the uh, mummification system of the ancient Egyptians, so they must have known something. Yeah, and de and detox. Ancient, ancient so-called witch doctors, what have you, some things apparently seem to work. Yep. Now, and, de anyway. and, and detox is sh extremely important for cancer patients. Well, that's true, your whole body. I mean, you need to clean it out. Everything basically begins from your, your teeth and gums and goes through your entire yeah. uh, the intestinal tract. Look, if look, that's not closed out, if you don't detox, well, that's look, that could be the start of all, a sure. lot of your illness. Well, look at the damn mer mercury amalgam fillings that, that we have in our teeth. I mean, that's not that's not great. So, you know, we have to detox on a daily basis. That's right. You know, I take... Uh, I take still, it seems a, as, a, as a race, meaning oh. human, we still have a lot to learn. We still have a lot, an overabundance of ignorance in our society. Oh, sadly. that's true. And sadly, I think a lot of people are suffering because of the ignorance. That's true. I mean, we learn a lot just by trying. That's and the right. thing is, like we just said a few minutes ago, what did you got to lose by trying? My God, people were trying to help you, not hurt you. Give it a shot. Yeah. See what happens. It's, it just might save your life. This volume is very good. Or prolong your life, as it were. But I mean, you, you have options. Use every option at your disposal. Exactly. Always. Exactly. Well, that's it for me, gentlemen. My time's up today. We went a little longer, but that was good. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna bring up the, 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 the fact that many things that we talked about. It's really frustrating when, when soon as a man gets into a serious relationship with a, with a woman, he, he somehow the woman has to be the center of attention, and the man has to give up who he is, and give up all his hobbies and interests, and, and focus his whole attention on her, but that, I mean, that's obviously something we talked about many, many times. Many, many times, and sadly it's true. I mean, I'm sure it happens on the reverse, too, but overall it does happen where the, the yeah. man usually has to give up a lot. I know my father was one. He loved his golf. Mom didn't like him being away all the time, so he stopped joining the country clubs. Mm, yeah, well, the I women... Mean, that, to me, that's just stupid. Well, even, even guys... Stupid. This is what I love. I'm going to do it. Right, the, right. It's up to. Out of love, did it for mom, and it's, I, it, it's up I to. I think the, about that often. I don't like it. it it's know? it's up to the man to say these are my hobbies, these are my interests, these are my friends, yeah. and I enjoy what I do, and I'm not yeah. I'm not going to give up me because I'm getting I'm I'm getting laid by a female. <laughs> yeah. By the way, at, this, by the time, at the moment, well, while you're on, would you like to castrate me too? But yeah. Well, you take everything else from me, so you might as well do that too. You want to take everything I enjoy away, so you know. Well, even even people that are just dating, Billy, the the women, the women want to be the center of attention. Even the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman has a has a friend named Esmeralda from uh, 
the uh, the the suburbs of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and uh, and she wants to be the center of attention. I mean, hell, she she called before during the show to to, to uh, and I have to edit that out now. To interrupt. She to interrupt. She's get, to get yeah, under James. Their best is. argument is if you really love me, you know. Well, uh, she also you love is giving, not getting. Yeah, up, you'll yeah do this, that's you'll true. Do that. No, no. unconditional love. Me, that's true. You'll let me continue to do my golf or play right. in my softball league or what have you. Chess. The worst both ways, or chess. Guys and girls, okay? Well, instead of instead of sabotaging your your man's hobbies and interests, you should see how happy it, they make him. Support them. Because a happier boyfriend or husband is a more attentive. A uh, romantic, me, affectionate, passionate husband. Well, I've told you many times. All yeah, I should coin that. Not a one exception. They all supported my football. They all came to every one of my games. They never told me stop playing football. Yeah. Well, I, I also That's think I problem. also think that people that do this, uh, whether it be a female or a male, uh, most cases I notice it's female. The ones that do this usually are are very are not deep. People, they're usually very superficial. They're not intellects like in this case with Esmeralda. She's a small talker. She talks about yeah. everyday yeah. stuff. So yeah. when we do our show, we're very, very deep. We're actually we're deeper. Us guys here are deeper than the mainstream media. And I think these people that are not deep and not intellectual are threatened by super no, you're, you're, dynamic, intelligent you're, people. You're, so they have to sabotage us. They don't want anything that might pull you away from them. They're threatened. It's, and that's threat. Well, I... Insecurity, plain and simple. Insecurity, you could throw in jealousy too. Jealousy, fear. No, it, and none of the terms are, are positive, they're all negative <coughs> yeah. feelings. Negative feelings. Uh, it's they, not good. <coughs> how, far, how long could any person with a normal mind tolerate that? After why is it this? Right. I gave all this up for you. And then, and then you find that you're getting bored in the relationship. That's right. <clears throat> or the marriage. Not having fun, and I can't be with them. <clears throat> oh, every no. waking moment. I mean, you can't you can't crawl up your spouse's ass or your girlfriend's mm -hmm. ass. No, none of my exes were like that. They, we used to go out at night. You go with the girls. I go with my bo my boys. We say, I'll meet you at so and so club at so and so time. Go to the diner. Nobody complains. Yeah. We have fun. Well, even even but if I it, get some of my friends and you, I'm sure you all have friends too that are have a ring in their nose, and that girl is always pulling at the ring, and there are right. guys that are extremely jealous too. It's not just girls. I yeah, know. I know. There's insecure men. There. But guys can be just as bad too, where they've got to own the person. Possession. It's, relationship. it's an ownership. And, right. Uh, it's about power. It's about control. Power. It's, it's oh, not. It's control. not about mutual, uh, unconditional love. It's dressing too sexy. Don't go out looking like that. What do you want? Other guys to pick you up? I mean, come on. I I love when other guys look at my exes, and my girls. I mean, that's a compliment to me. I, I know. My girls. I knew that would cheat on me. I had nothing to fear. My 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 friend Brian uh, Slade, his ex-wife did not want him to have any friends or hobbies or anything. She she was so insecure that she did not like Brian going to the gym and improving his body and looking better. That's weird. She well she had a at the time she had a, a fat ass with a lot of cellulite showing though. Well, uh, uh. you know. So you know, and her 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 family did nothing but watch TV and eat cake and pizza. So mm -hmm. that that explains everything. But uh, yeah, these people are insecure. They're threatened by again, by how, long, how long did he tolerate that and why? For so long? No, he didn't tolerate it. That's why they're divorced. <laughs> he married her. He married her, right? He had she, to know that he had to. He could have been that stupid. He had to know this before he got married to her. Listen, yeah, listen. I don't need this crap. Josephine used to used to drive to the gym and, and, and peek through the window to watch him work out, to make sure he wasn't talking to any girls in the gym. Oh, I would, I would have grabbed every girl around and do me a favor. All of you swarm around Brian right now. You know, just, <laughs> <laughs> just a play a joke on Yeah, that. she used to tailgate him in the car, yeah. That's sick. That, that's not insecurity. I mean, that's the purest definition of it. I mean, that and, is and there are. That's the kind of person that will kill their spouse 
or club or what have you. Oh. Well, you push them I too far. To those girls, bam, they blow you away or cut you <laughs> up or whatever. Who knows? There's a, that's, I know. That's it. That's scary. Boing. I know. I know a lot of guys like that that are, are are supposedly pussy whipped, and you know the woman has to be the center of attention, and oh, yeah. uh, you yeah. know uh, 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 it's almost like they they burn a, a hot branding iron on your butt. Uh, you know, yeah, like you're uh, it, mine. You're mine. Uh, because I had I had sex with you. You belong to me now. What you mean? I think you've known me over thirty years. I think you know now. Okay, James, you know I guess I've been engaged seven times and never got married. I can't do this. I've seen too sure. many friends go through some bad divorces, some bad relationships, and I'm saying I don't need this. There's no way I'll take that chance. Right. You know. Well, it up. It's it, not that enough. I don't need. I don't want. This. No, you shouldn't have to give up who you are. No, no. To well, be. Well, maybe you're right and you're wrong. Make adjustments to each other. You know what? Along the way, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but so, I won't go out seven nights a week because. Well, yeah, you know, no, no, you shouldn't be doing you know, that. I'll, yeah, I'll see the guys two or three times a week. Okay. You know, yeah, but for for God's sakes, if if the man has a hobby or interest that makes him happy, leave him alone. Right, right. Like my football in the past. Uh, like Drew, you know, our good friend of the pro wrestling. Like he loves his uh, action figures. Action figures, right? He, he collects oh action God. figures. Somebody else might might belong to a bowling league. Somebody else I'm might play. Bowl. Someone I'm else might. Play the league. Someone I'm else might play. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Someone else might play golf. Let them. The fact that you can sometimes it's possible, not always. Do it together. Lottie, let's go and play. Uh, there you go. Round of golf this weekend. I'll teach you. Fun. Yeah, but in in the case of our broadcasting, we can't have people be a part of the show that have nothing to uh, uh, to contribute to the show. No, no, no intellect. Like we could, it would bore it would bore people to have a small talker on the show. And Esmeralda wants to be a part of the show because she is his little no. A friend. She is his friend. He only well, wants to get under your, your skin. Maybe it's just to let people out there here because she knows it's so easy. Small-minded people can be like. Small-minded people. You see what people are really like, and this is what sometimes you're up against and you run into. Yeah, well. People like this, well, people like you really just don't need that kind of attitude towards you. Yeah. Well, see now, now I have to edit the part where she calls out, and what I have to do is take the phone off the hook. Uh, until right before you call, I'm gonna have to do that like I did in the old days, you know. But uh, sure. because apparently the small-minded individuals in this world don't understand what it's like to be an intellectual and a, a deep thinker, well, like we, like independent deep really thinker, and super dynamic like we are. Isn't that right? Because you agree with them, something's wrong. You got to agree Remember with I them. I said to you, both of you, uh, a couple of weeks back, they always say don't ever talk about religion and politics. Remember why said, not? Why not? Why not? <laughs> why not? I'm not saying get mad. It's get taboos. Angry. What's wrong with discussing it? I may not agree with you, Jim or Bill, but let's right. talk about it. Or if you're in a restaurant, if me and you are at a, at a good buffet and somebody's kids are running amok in the restaurant disturbing other people and the parents the young yuppie parents do nothing to discipline the child. That's not my problem. That's not your problem. All right. Why do? Why can't we also talk about child rearing? It's too damn well, bad too. if they don't like it. That too, and different attitudes. My my way is to be honest. That just doesn't bother me. It's not my kid. Not it my problem. Not, you know. It just doesn't phase me in the least. It may bother you or Reverend Bill. You know, so there are two different opinions there too. It doesn't bother me. It might bother the two of you. Yeah. Well, my know. my solution is to take the phone off the hook, and they can't bother us. <laughs> well, the bottom line is, uh, is the bottom line is uh, I'll take care of business. Says, Could you please keep your children a little more quiet, please? Yeah, because it ain't my problem. It's not my kid. Get a steady atmosphere for everybody. Yeah. Okay. A nice, pleasant atmosphere for everyone. You know, that's right. Basic bottom line, really. But people, men should not give up who they are entirely okay when they have a relationship you're, not, you're right you're right no you should not give up everything no if you do you're weak in my book and you're a fool you'll live to regret it 
you'll live to regret uh, it. And yes. Everyone needs their quote toys, meaning their enjoyments, hobbies, what have you. Right. Sports, this and that. Don't take it. Why must you take away from someone? You know? I just see taking as we said a few moments ago, just instead of going on seven nights a week, honey, I'll go out only two or three nights with the guys this week. You know, adjustments. Compromise. A part of a big part of relationships is adjusting to each other with each other. Right, but compromise but compromise works two ways. It's a two way street. It is. It is. Work together. Work together. Don't butt heads. Work yeah. together. Work together. Uh, that's it for me. Okay, Billy, it was a very invigorating uh, visit by you. Good. Very. I it, hope you're both invigorated right now. Very, in, uh, very contra I will talk to you next week. controversial and invigorating. I will see you next week. You got it. Well, I mean, on the show. show. On the show, I'll see you next week. I see you you're on. You're anyway on. before that. All right, bye bye. Let's have a good, have a good one, okay? Yes. All right, everybody. So bye bye. Bye. Very invigorating. Very invigorating indeed. Uh, and his and, and the quality of his volume was excellent, loud and clear. Uh, How about the quality of your volume? Overabundance. O over over. Uh, I want to apologize. I was uh, to the viewers. I was not yelling or hollering. And we did. And William Morrow. We did an experiment. He, yeah. And it is not our intercom. No, it's the. It is on Mr. Williams' side. It has to it do with his Verizon mobile service, or perhaps he needs to clean the wax out of his ear. Or, or it could be that the cell phone is it's weak anyway. The volume is weak anyway, even if you put it on. Yes. Take your, you know, put the speakerphone. Yeah, put the speakerphone on it's on horrible. the cell phone. And it's garbage. Yeah, compared to a, a, a landline uh, cordless phone, like uh, my brother-in-law has a, a landline phone, a Japanese company, and he puts this particular phone on speakerphone, and man, it's louder than... It's like Skype. It's loud like Skype. It's, yeah. it's beautiful. And um, yeah, I mean, you know, it, 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 well, the cell phone, the smartphone, they are what they are. Uh, I'm, I, they're getting better, so I'm not. I'm not going to condemn them uh, uh, and, and say, you know, yes, there are drawbacks to them. There are drawbacks to the laptop compared to a PC. There are drawbacks to a tablet compared to a PC. But uh, they are getting better and better. And I, uh, uh, like I told you, that somebody from Japan uh, years ago was uh, uh, speaking to me via video with an iPhone, with an Apple iPhone, and it was the highest quality, crisp, clear. Yeah, but that depended on your speaker on your end, correct? And the in and the and the internet connection speed also has a lot to do with it. The inter internet. In other words, there's no comparison between a a cell phone speaker. And the surround sound on a good PC, you know. Yeah, I mean uh, 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 the uh, the connection speed. Like for instance, uh, the problem seems to be there's definitely a difference between Wi-Fi signals and a let's say a, a fiber optics or a digital signal on a through a cable modem. I mean, you you have the weather that interferes with 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 wireless. You have the weather that definitely satellites it. The dish, yeah. The dish goes out with rain and snow and you know all kinds of same, crap like same, that. Same thing with the Wi-Fi. You know, it, it depends on the weather. Uh, I did take my Allegra, so I haven't been that bad lately. Uh, but uh, it's maybe. funny. The internet was invented to become an emergency thing, and it was invented In to emergencies. be emergencies. And every time the weather's bad, the internet is crap. And it was and it was also invented like cable TV TV to be free initially. Well, gee, then how come all of a sudden in the nineties, all of these ISPs came around, and now you had to pay to get on the internet? Yeah. The hell do I have to pay someone to let me on the internet? Right. Free. 
My government invented the damn thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh. oh, oh. Puts it into practice, and all of a sudden, it's it's given to these privatized jerks, and and I got to pay them money to get on the internet. It's funny how that it's my works. friying internet. It's your friging internet. Al Gore didn't invent it. Billy forgot to do, or I, I and Billy, Billy and I forgot to do promo. If you're wondering, what is the best way you can uh, be a part of our organization and join our organization? Well, it's very simple. Everything we do is based on this. Newsletter Censored was founded in 1977 by my co-host and mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman, okay, and it is hard-hitting truth that you're not going to hear or read in today's mainstream media or the press. There is nothing like newsletter censored out there, so get your free annual subscription with your gift to support this work. There's a new issue coming out any day now. And some of the answers that Billy was looking for can be found in there. That's right. Yeah. That's right. There's nothing like Newsletter Censored. We are living in the end times. Yes, you need Newsletter Censored to learn how to defeat a conservative, conservative and to find out what is really in the Bible. Not what right-wing fundamentalist, zealot, counterfeit Christians tell you that what's in the Bible, but what's, what's really in the Bible. Get Newsletter Censored now by going to www newslettercensored.com you need newsletter censored and that's how you be a part of our organization uh, also from the Mega Life 21 uh, progressive hard-hitting uh, internet talk radio station which which is there's a link at the top of newslettercensored.com you can try our product it is uh, an ancient it is an ancient time tested product from mainland China. It is a uh, red Panax ginseng extract with royal jelly, liquid extract, a one month supply, 30 liquid vials, okay, uh, two of the time, uh, the, the most uh, effective, powerful, time-tested tonics for humans, uh, been around for centuries, okay, uh, mega dose, uh, Red Panax a ginseng extract with royal jelly for energy, vitality, uh, hormonal balance. <laughs> it's an adaptogen. Um, it's just a, a great all round tonic for men and women. Uh, try it now. Now um, it's on the, uh, the this radio station page. Cool. And uh, I got another message. The ominous message from the uh, elitist 1% on the voicemail. Again, they're haunting me. It sounded like this. My God, it sounds like we are here to kill you. Well, that's an explanation for the question you keep answering of why these conservative Republicans want to, you know, kill the uh, the elderly and uh, the poor and it's yeah, well, Fic fixed income people, that's why. the disabled. You know, well, didn't the, the, they're didn't, swapping up uh, their resources. Well, didn't fascism during World War II? Uh, they want, had, yes, Hitler had the final solution. Want to eliminate the, the disabled and the uh, the gays. The Jews and the, and the, 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 the gypsies and the disabled and uh, whatever yeah because they were not the, they were not the he wanted to do selective breeding they were not part of the master race they were not but hey that's where we that's where we got eugenics baby hey they do uh, they did they do it with animals all the time race horses pedigree dogs cats uh, 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 livestock so they did it with with people they did it with the slaves even though it got Jimmy the Greek Snyder fired years ago. Well, it didn't work too well with the slaves. Well, they, they are bigger. Because, uh, Look at all the big guys. Boredom and slavery is not something that goes from generation to generation. No, but look at all, look at all the athletes. A, uh, 
the athletes are, are what big, do you call big guys, big strong guys. If they're not fed, they're not going to get big. Same thing now. If you don't feed a child, he's not going to be good in school. Well, their athletes are not only fed, so but you know. they are they are given probably for free performance enhancing. Uh, well, they drugs. weren't to breed breed slaves. Drugs. You know what I mean? Yeah. They didn't know about such things back then. What about all? The, what but about? But if you don't get, if you don't give an animal good nutrition early on in life and right. throughout his life, he's not going to be his potential. Yeah. He's not going to live out his potential. What about the the all of the like Archie Bunk used to say the chromosome factor, oh. chromosomes. But that only gets you into the next generation. It doesn't build you. You have to have the raw materials to make it happen. You can't make high grade, high quality carbon steel, you know, stainless steel, unless you have the raw materials in, in the right proportions to make it a reality, to create it. So same thing with a human being. Or it could be Mother Nature making a diamond, which incidentally, there are so many diamonds in South Africa that they cannot export them in a normal fashion because the diamond is not a precious stem stem the diamond is not a precious gem any longer there's too many of them but they don't want you to know that so well, that's the uh, supply and demand so, the more supply of something the yeah. price goes down so when you see this stupid jared commercial with the girls uh, jared. Jo jo drooling over the big rock the big engagement ring five thousand dollar engagement ring it's it's one of the biggest scams in capitalism I would think is fine jewelry as it applies to diamonds there are a lot of scams in capitalism believe me the whole thing is based on a scam as I keep telling you buy low and sell high buy low and sell high if I if I'm a businessman and I hire you I am going to hire you at a wage that you will produce more for me than I pay you. That's capitalism. Okay, that's one of the flaws. Yeah. Another flaw is that capitalism works for those who have capital. Yeah, no and capital, and no tiki, no washi. No tiki, no washi. And, and shows like uh, uh, Porn Star, the gentlemen, the people in Las Vegas, uh, American Pickers, Hardcore Porn, these people, they they jump. They, they're so ecstatically happy when they uh, they get a um, sucker. When they find a sucker to sell their antique to 